ってないようにTheir star back again with a hopefully repaired and renewed and reinvigorated Shimagame Tensei 4 stream. Did a little bit of testing after yesterday's series of snafus. Seems to have gotten things under control. We're gonna jump back in. We didn't get much done last time, the stream only ran 40 minutes or so in all, but what did happen is we started up a New Game Plus uh, side quest. Let's take a look at that real quick. To prevent a deal with an overlord. A former politician is trying to take back his authority and place of power from the Ashurakai by selling out the citizens of Tokyo to a demon. He's formed some sort of cult. Stop him in the Metropolitan Government Office before he can summon the demon and make a contract. We've technically failed this, as the demon was indeed summoned. With the help of a member of the Ring of Gaia, it, the demon was Astaroth. We beat up a lot of people, then Astaroth fled, and then you have to chase down Astaroth. And that's where we got into a problem, because Astaroth is tough, and Astaroth kicked our butts. And that's where I kind of ended it after we got the game over against Astaroth and the game was still being kind of crummy and laggy. But as things seem to have improved, we're going to go whoop, we're going to go take on Astaroth once again. And hopefully it will go a little better this time. I mean I was already severely on tilt. By the time we fought Astaroth, the whole stuttering slowdown issue had me in such a mood. But things are a bit better now, so... Onward, I say. I have new headphones. Um, these are Razer Mano War 7.1 headphones, whatever the heck that means. I would like to give a shout out to myself for generously providing me with the money for these headphones. You should check their star out, that most generous of equipment donators. Alright. Look at this Power Ranger villain ass. Chasing down a demon is hardly the wisest choice Jerk. like yourself could make. No, but seriously, right? But you determined to finish the job. I admire that. Power Ranger villain. I believe I've had enough time to get used to this world. Very well. If you wish to challenge me, then I shall gladly be your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, I believe the only thing that he really has, that he really blocks is mm, Bufu, Ice Spells. So, anything else we do should be 
just peachy. Hi, shiny, heem shiny. Sometimes heem shimey, heem shimmy. A person of many names, shall we say. Ooh, big damage. I'm all for big damage. Big damage, big damage, no whammies, no whammies. Like, Power Ranger villains even have swords, you know? This guy is going full. Risha Repulsa, Lord Zed, let my monster grow. Clearly a dude in a costume. But with a scary monster mouth. Alright. We're surviving a lot better this time around, let me tell you. Although we'll have Lakshmi just do a little preventative healing. Alright, Luster Candy, Glacial Blast, and more Luster Candy. Let's look at the stat situation there. Okay. Ananta can remove those effects. So we'll have it do that when it gets to his turn. The Kaja. Very useful spell. Okay. Let's see. There's no real emergency healing need here. Ooh. I say before he starts throwing that around at me. Yep, there we go. Ooh, lucky, but not lucky, because he's just going to do this. And that's great and all, but... Okay. I think the deal is... Once we get him down to a certain amount of health, he just starts throwing stuff at me. Hey, whistle concert! Oof. Just in time to see my game over against Risha Repulsa's latest creation. Beyond the river is the land of the dead. I think we've heard this spiel enough times by now. I am not going to give you any money. No money. You go away. No. All right. So back to the title screen for us. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have to make a proper party to take on Astaroth. This is perhaps the first new game plus side quest boss that does not scale to where you are in the game. So let's see what we have. You see, Makara Karn seems good because it repels magic, but it will not repel Megiddo spells. So I would say Set comes in for Lakshmi. And then we have three people immune to Astaroth's Ice Spell. And really, I think that's the best I can do without delving into Mido and the Cathedral of Shadows. Alright. I do like... I do like Astaroth's design. But... I would like the design a lot more if I'd beaten him the first time we fought him. Isn't it funny how that works? Alright. All I can do is buff and debuff as best I can. Remember to remove his buffs when he 
cast them. And sometimes he'll remove our buffs, but that's okay. That's why I'm not doing a bunch of luster candy in a, in a row. Because, you know, one stat debuff will remove all of those. So instead... We're just going to use... The Kaja to remove all of Astaroth's buffs. <clears throat> and even if he spends a round removing our buffs... That's a round we're not getting pummeled in, so it all works out. So we're still a plus one in all our stats. So the goal now is to do big damage to Astaroth before he starts throwing out his Megiddo spells. We'll give him a quick debuff here. What's risky with this party is, without Lakshmi, Flynn is the only healer. And it's already beginning to show. I passed on Fresvelger's turn, so that... Flynn can have an extra round at the end of this turn. And he can use that to heal up Ananta. As Ananta is our debuffer, that's kind of important that we keep him around. Let me check. Okay, he hasn't buffed his stats again, however. But we'll get in as much as we can. Flynn has to heal himself. If Resvelger or Set drop, that's an unfortunate casualty. But there we go. Set's down. Resvelger managed to survive. We can bring him back in. Just like that. Mm. We'll have to spend a round using the Kaja. And we can swap in someone right now. We can put in Vasuki, who's also weak to ice. And we can even debuff Astaroth as our ending move. And see how this goes. Three crits. That's bad. That's going to do big time damage to us. And we were lucky to survive that one. That could have been a game over right there. Alright. Just gotta keep debuffing Astaroth as best we can. It comes back around to Flynn. Flynn will heal Resvelger. Forever fortunate enough to have a round where we're not horribly wounded. I can bring in a fort again. Like, yeah, I can do that now. Now might be a good time to bring in Lakshmi. She's really our only choice for a fort, so... Let's see... No point in passing up Resvelger's turn, so let's do that. Vasuki we can pass on. Lakshmi can heal up Vasuki. And that will leave Flynn free to use Trisagion, which is our most powerful spell on our most powerful magic caster. So that's definitely the right move.
All right, that was good. He used Glacial Blast, which led him to cure some of our allies and cancel out the rest of his turn. Let's see. Fusuki doesn't have anything terribly useful right now that to cast, so that's kind of a pain, but we'll make do. Uh, the temptation is to use Trisagion, but the safer option is to heal Lakshmi, unfortunately. Double unfortunately, we don't really have anyone that can remove his stat buffs right now. And he's just piling them on too. That's bad. Okay, that could have been a lot worse though. I mean, at some point, we're just going to have to throw damage at him and hope it sticks. And I think that time is pretty much now. We also need to start healing again. Vasuki hanging in there. Well, that's going to take them out. Ooh, that's uh, this is a tough round to get through. I mean, I think we can do it, but just like this. Just have to keep throwing in those hits when we can. Resvelger takes a hit. But the round ends peacefully enough. I don't have enough magic to cast Trisagion. So we're going to have to restore MP. Lakshmi at the very least can heal Resvelger. Oh, and he's in red. Now, do I heal Hresvelger, or do I push for Flynn with Trisagion? Because he could do it. He could be an absolute unit for us right now. And Hresvelger... Mm, let's heal. I don't want to risk it. If I lose in this round, I'll be very annoyed. That's a bad situation. Okay, we're alive. Just about. But we're alive. Is that enough? That is not enough, so I'm glad. Now, here's a bigger risk. Do I do it again? Yes. Is that enough? Yatta! How could you defeat me? The Overlord Astral! What are you? I'm on New Game Plus. So. You never had a chance. Except for the 12 times you beat me or whatever. How, how could this happen? My hopes and dreams dashed before my very eyes! This is some former Japanese cabinet minister who was all I'm gonna summon the demon Astaroth and I'm gonna get back all my power. Context. Very important. There's no way I can regain my position now. I don't think you can become a cabinet minister with a demon in the post apocalypse. The old man slinks away sullenly. <clears throat> I stuck with that politician, I'd get something out of it. Well, that was a complete waste of my time. Not to mention all the risks I took for that idiot. Whoa. Oh, damn it! I got suckered again into doing something for some ass who's all talk. Whoa, relevant. Topical. The various members of the group participating in the ritual scatter and flee the area. I honestly didn't expect Overlord Astaroth to be defeated that quickly. But you did expect him to be defeated? 
I had my own mission, as you may have guessed. It was to bring Astaroth to the Ring of Gaia to be our new king. But you Ooh. put an end to that. Yuriko wouldn't Still, like that. I did manage to get my hands on Astaroth's soul. You have my personal thanks for that. <laughs> Tee hee. The woman leaves. I just slowly drink water while the old man laments his fate. It's so true. That's what I do whenever old men complain that things aren't fair. It's just slowly drink water. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, life's horrible, buddy. Old, old privileged people have it the worst. It's true. They're there. All right. Let's go back and heal because we are very injured. We are very ragged. What's your pleasure? After all of that. <laughs> Let's drink this fake Yulmulcha. Hmm. Oh, Isabeau is all about the aesthetic. She's like, I can't put this on Instagram. I don't have any filters. Okay, bulletin board. I don't think there'll be new quests. Why would there be? Alright. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. Here's open we both see each other alive again. Fantastic. Now let's see. Let's readjust the party. Ananta comes back in. And that's basically the only party change we need to make. And we can check out the side quest situation. Oh, we can deliver those coffee beans. That's right. We did manage to do that at some point. Uh, yesterday. That's right. That's right. I don't like the bartender in this game. Ooh. You just leave the rest to me. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. Like he seems okay here. And here. See each other alive again. But when you're delivering quest items, he suddenly goes. That's, That's right. Just go deliver it and you're done. Uh, I know what to do. Like even when I'm giving him coffee beans, I'm worried. What are you going to do with these coffee beans? Okay, we could deliver all of these to Mikado whenever. In fact, let's do that now. Let's return to the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado and deliver those. Because that will open up the wine delivery quest for Hugo. And we already have that, so we'll be getting four side quests done at once. And that would be pretty nifty. Also, I just really like Mikado. Not gonna front. I like how it's... The differences aren't only visual and uh, in the music and so on, and the culture, obviously, but... What should we do, Master? Even the navigation is different. Like, the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado is the only place that has this menu-based navigation. So in that sense, it's literally a different world to navigate. And I find that a really cool, just a really cool, really smart idea. Alright, let's deliver this small fridge so that K can serve more than jerky. Oh, Sesh leveled up. And he learned more skill for more kill for more blood spill. War Cry decreases attack and defense. All enemies. I don't think I want to replace anything we have with that, so let's not. I have indeed accepted it. Thanks, Kay. 
you're very understanding that I was taking a minute to talk with my giant dragon of Egyptian mythology. Ananta levels up. Will it learn its final skill? Yes, this old dog, which is actually seven snakes, has learned a new trick. Makarakarn, which is repel all magic, well, most magic, for one turn. Hmm, no. There's so many exceptions to that, I feel like. It doesn't always seem worth it. I have indeed accepted it. And then we will get this one, the wind turbine, to power all this ancient technology. Okay. I have indeed accepted it. Is there anything else? Let's look at the blackboard and see if there are any new quests. I've checked, but there don't seem to be any new quests. Okay. Is there anything else? Come again. Let's see. Do I just have to go to the monastery? Yes, here we are. Hmm? You're... Banana priest. Back in action. I have heard that you easily retrieved each mystic relic that I requested. Easily is I greatly admire your slight exaggeration. Name, I offer you words of gratitude. By the by. I expect that by the by is a great phrase. Familiar with the lay of Tokyo. It is for that reason that I should like to uh -huh. place a particular burden on your shoulders. How would it, Banana Man? It is on behalf of a certain man I am acquainted with. A friend? It seems his wife craves a kind of mystic relic known as why. Whatever that is. Is an alcoholic beverage that was once widespread in Tokyo. The poor man's wife is not shy to make demands. At hmm. worse, she is a woman of violent temper. I wonder if it was sake in the like Japanese. Me, like we got my, my acquaintance. <laughs> Could save Hugo. Terrible grief. Please, for his sake, I charge you with retrieving a bottle of wine from somewhere in Tokyo. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. That's okay. Bring back wine. Find a bottle of wine and bring it back to me. I have no clues for you as to its whereabouts, save that it was handled in large Tokyo shops known as department stores. It may help to know that clothing, food, and a wide assortment of sundries were offered there. Please do your utmost to find it, for the sake of my friend. As this is a personal request from myself, there is no need to go through Kay's tavern. Please consult me directly once you have the wine. I find it interesting I the utmost faith in you. that there's a tavern, but no wine. That they do not have that process. Ah, you're Which may indicate that it is indeed... Uh, French wine, we'll yes. say. Fruit-based wine. And not sake. Wine. <laughs> Rice wine. So happy, Hugo. No, I'll not have to endure my wife's endless nagging as to her wine. I'm sure my troubled acquaintance <laughs> will be most relieved. You're, you're being very inconsistent. <laughs> with a token of gratitude in his stead. Obtained a bead chain. Great. Gently used bead chain, I hope. I prefer new, but... In this world, I don't think anything is new. Well, then, you are free to leave. We found a mystic relic known as a bead chain in a store called an XXX, a 101010 10 store. Oh, 
All right, let's sell off some items. Ah, what superb relics you have there! Thanks. Ooh, that's a lot of money, actually. A land cable, a long, soft piece of string. Too true. Welcome, blessed samurai. Okay. What will you be selling? Thank you very much. Going to sell anything that we've hit the item limit for. Thank you very much. What will you be selling? And also things that were coming close to the item limit for. I don't want to risk having to leave items behind. Because suddenly you can get a bunch of powerful items. And each item has its own individual carry limit. So it would be really frustrating to have to leave those behind. Just because uh, our inventory was full. Either way, we're either losing items or losing Maka on doing so. So let's let's sell. Okay. Please be careful on your way. I should also check and see if the claymore we picked up is very useful. It's not that bad, but for defeating Astaroth, it does not seem quite a worthy reward. That's just my opinion. Okay. Or cross W Smacktacular 13, or Serial Kidnapping plus Arson. Okay, we can do this one. I'm recording a TV show, and I'd like you to, to participate. We put the hunters on the white team, the demons on the red team, and they fight to the death. Tokyo is a nice place. If you want to be on the white team, Meet at the Studio Art Building, next to the Shinjuku Station East Gate. Uh, this comes from the Shinjuku Hunter Association. I think it's important to note that sometimes, because we get a lot of insight into the Ring of Gaia and the Ashurakai this the during this game. Do do, but even though the Hunter Association doesn't get a lot of focus, we can see that the Hunter Association has its fingers in a lot of pies, and most of those pies involve murdering. We're here. What should we do, Master? Which makes sense to an extent. It's the Hunter Association. They do exist to hunt demons. But, I mean, they're also the ones who run the human gladiator tournaments that seem to have an expectation of murdering your opponent. Which is pretty skeevy. I'm gonna check in at Ueno. I've checked, but there don't seem to be any new quests. Good. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. Here's open we both see each other alive again. And then we can just head to Shinjuku. Because that's where that quest is. I learned that different different hunter associations can give different quests. So sometimes I will have to go to different towns and check in. We're here. What should we do, Master? Most of the time it's fine, most of the time it's just the latest one will have the latest quests. But sometimes that is not the case. And that's when it becomes a pain. Okay, Ananta learned all its skills, so we should also... Oh, we can now fuse Astaroth, because we beat him up. To the Cathedral of Shadows. Where, where demons, demons gather. What will you do? Okay. Let's see what we can make with Ananta. Now. 
Ganesha seems to be the... Oh no, we could make Barbatos. Or Kali. I like Barbatos' outfit. That's kind of a big selling point. But Kali does have six arms. Which is another good selling point. So let's do that. Let's see. We can change Kali's weakness to gun to draining gun, which is a big change. Trisagion. Medea Rahan. Very good. Let's see. Endure is very useful. We can do Zeodyne and Electroma to power up Zeodyne. And the Kaja is useful too, so... Let's do that demon fusion. Obviously because this is New Game Plus, we don't do as much demon fusion as we did in our first playthrough. So it's always nice to get the chance. And no demon fusion error. Even better. I did not notice that Kali's suit had nipples. A daring aesthetic choice. On the part of the goddess. Alright. Whoops. Sorry, NPC bro. This is where the side quest begins, I believe, so let's accept it here. Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. Going to do this game show ass side quest again. Oh. From the looks of you, I'd say you must be human. You're a hunter, then. Which means that you're here to be on the show, right? Sure. Great. We're ready to begin shooting right away. Are you ready? Hmm. Alright. Everybody who's going to be involved in this episode, gather round. A number of hunters crowd around to hear the director speak. <laughs> right. Let me explain the rules. The show's named... Red Cross White, Punch Down Smacktacular. Team Red and Team White are going to fight to the death. Now, I'm not going to ask you guys to kill each other. We're all humans here. The humans are all on Team White, and Team Red is all demons. So you should be used to this sort of thing, right? The only difference is that you're going to be doing it on camera. Oh, and no rigging the show with your opponent. Show our viewers the reality of a hunter taking down demons. I ought to mention that in the last episode, Team White was obliterated almost instantly. I hope I get a better show out of you guys this time around. Okay, cameras are rolling. The arena for these battles will be the streets here in Ishinjuku. We've got the streets locked down during filming, so don't even think of running. Fight to the bitter end. Now get out there and give us some awesome fights to get our ratings up. We're live in three. Let's go. Alright, um, there is going to be, I think, pink slash red slash whatever color demons on the map. Those will be the ones we have to beat up. As far as this side quest goes, everything else is tangential to that, I believe. But, of course, that means we have to find them first. There's one, you see. Whoop. Poke. It would appear that a hunter and a demon have crossed paths here at the East Gate's main street. 
the demons from the red team who face the white team skilled hunter are, it's the popular girl group, the Apsaris Project. With these legs, with this dance, with these looks, we'll charm you all. Please cheer us on. I'm kind of cheering for the Apsaris Project. Well, their membership has been greatly reduced. This is the new game plus I'm used to. Sorry, Apsaris Project. Wow, that was something else. You took on that horde of demons all on your own. Looks like a good portion of us hunters have been killed though. Still, I'm gonna survive and get my hands on that prize money. Alright. That's one batch of enemies down. I think the interesting thing about this competition, or whatever you want to call it, this TV show, is that the demons have also consented to it. It's a whole thing. Demons want to make a name for themselves too, you know? You're charmed by Apsaurus's legs, then you would have been very happy there, because there were many legs. Many Apsarai equals many Apsarai legs. Oh. Poke. <clears throat> Our cameras in Kabukicho have spotted another run-in between a hunter and a demon. The demon from the red team who faces off against the white team's hardy hunter is... The beautiful songstress of the Expanse who sings mysterious and magical melodies. Lorelei. Please, hear my song of tragic love. Um, I'm gonna set you on fire. Is that okay? Whoops, sorry. That was very tragic. <clears throat> huh? I don't remember anything after that demon started singing. This lady came into my dreams. She was so beautiful. Uh, wait, was I in some deep shit just now? Well, thanks for killing that demon, Dan. You really saved my ass. That's me, good old ass saver, their star. Savior of asses. This is not a uh, side quest enemy, so... Ooh. Hmm. My throat got real dry all of a sudden. In fact, let me mute the mic a minute while I clear my throat. Boop, boom. Alright, that should be a bit better. I hope I did mute my mic. Otherwise... You just heard me make a bunch of gross sounds. Okay, enemy strikes first. That's not too bad. We can get out of here pretty quickly. I don't like those macabre enemies in the middle. They tend to have big, high crit rates, uh, strong attacks. Kind of the works when it comes to messing up a party, regardless of level. And I also don't like these enemies, because these enemies can take away your money. And any enemy that does that is a messed up enemy. <clears throat> But yeah, you ever you're ever talking or something, and then it suddenly feels like a portion of your throat has dried up, or has tightened, or like there's something on it, and then you kind of choke up a bit. That happens to me sometimes. 
or feels like it's constricted, so I'm kind of pushing air through it. It's weird. Usually clearing my throat and drinking water helps, but... Whoa. Flee, flee! I mean, that's the reason why I have a bottle of water during streams rather than soda, which would be more conducive to keeping me awake. Is because if I'm going to be talking for hours, I need some throat hydration. Alright. Okay, there's probably going to be one here somewhere. Probably. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> the camera in Shinjuku Nicho has found us another confrontation between a hunter and a demon. Which of the demons from the red team is against the white team's prized hunter up against now? Her abilities are still unknown, but she's taken the popularity charts by storm. She's the rarest of all things in the expanse. A pure and innocent girl. Silky is taking the stage. Oh, this is my first time on Red Cross White Punchdown Smacktacular. I'll do my best to slaughter my opponent. GLHF, everybody. Good luck, have fun. Alright, have fun with this. Bye. Sorry, Silky. Good show. Damn it. Damn it. We screwed up. That demon was so sweet and cute, everybody underestimated her. Almost all the hunters who fell for her lost their lives. You managed to keep your cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're a true hunter, buddy. Let's hunt down the rest of these demons and get the prize. Okay. Not gonna fight these. I think there's only one more enemy encounter in this side quest, so we're doing good. Whoa. Got caught by that enemy, but these night stalkers drop quickly, so I don't mind auto battling against enemies that fall quickly. I'll take this shortcut. Come out here in Kabuki Cho. And then. There wasn't an enemy in this area last time, in the Golden Guy. So maybe there is this time. And even if there isn't. Then I know we just have to return to the front, to Shinjuku East entrance. And that should be where the final enemy is. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we never found this relic spot? Huh. Well, we did now, so... Positives and everything. A hunter and a demon of cross paths right here in Golden Guy. The white team's gifted hunter is up against the demon from the red team. Her sorrows as sweet as the fruit that doomed her. The unwilling queen of the underworld, Persephone. Huh. I may not look it, but I'm no stranger to this sort of thing. Actually, I'm not a big fan of all this business with murdering people and so forth. But work is work, and it gets me on television. Let's get this over with. I know, you seem to be of two minds on the subject, Persephone. Ha ha ha. Oh, you block fire. That's the opposite of what I want. The first three enemies we fought were weak to fire. Only for this to happen. But it's okay, we're done. 
with Persephone. Persephone. Hmm. You're strong, man. Beating that demon. Mm. You know, everybody squished by that demon all had these looks on their faces right before they died. It was like they were incredibly happy or caught in a perfect dream or something. Would you be willing to die if it meant being able to feel like that? What the hell are you even talking about? Hmm. Uh, yeah, what was I thinking? Sorry, I was just wondering. Forget I mentioned it. Hello. Man, I can't believe it. You beat most of the demons yourself. It's thanks to you that me and a couple of the other hunters have been able to survive this long. We're almost there. The money is so close I can almost taste it. <laughs> what the? Something's coming. No. Sorry to keep you all waiting. It's the ultimate climax of Red Cross White Punchdown Smacktacular 13. Lightning Returns. The final demon, the leader of Team Red, is a god among gods. One of the primordial goddesses. Tiamat. <clears throat> and there's no wait. My, my. I find it difficult to comprehend why all of you would want to participate in something like this. Unlike you, I have no choice. I was summoned in order to do this. Really? I would prefer not to take part in such trash, but what can you do? Let's get this over with. Alright, I'm gonna set you on fire. Oh. Well then, I guess I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to admire your eight boobs. Eight is a good number of boobs for any person to have, I think. You know, accuse me of realistic body expectations or not, but I'm just saying. Regardless of gender, eight boobs, good number. You're pretty good. I wouldn't have thought that I would be defeated. Would you be Flynn by any chance? I thought so. The Ashurakai, the group that set up this project, were pretty wary about having you participate. Ha <laughs> ha things have certainly gotten interesting. Alright. We have a winner! The champion of Red Cross White Punchdown Smacktacular 13 is... Team White. The Hunters are victorious. That was a heated match. It was a fight to the death. You'd better believe we're going to be digging plenty of highlights from this one. Until our next Smacktacular, so long everyone. <laughs> good job, good job. Flynn, buddy, pal, you were great out of there. We should go drinking sometime. On me. Have your people call my people. It's good to see Team Wise win once in a while, you know. It keeps viewer numbers up. Great show today. Everybody else, you did great too. Let's all get together for a rap party sometime later. What? Who said that? I know I just heard somebody say, Give us the prize already, asshole. Fine, you ungrateful little shits. I was in a good mood and everything. Here. The surviving hunters take their share of their rewards. <laughs> it's thanks to you that we survived long enough to get this money. I appreciate it. See you around. The other hunters pay their respects to Flynn and leave. Alright. Good, got that done. And that leaves... The bus terminal in Shinjuku Station's west entrance for this one. This comes from our friend, recurring NPC, Nozomi the Hunter. They say that the Wicker Man stuffs a human inside itself, then sets itself on fire, killing them both. A horde of these horrifying demons have been attacking people in Shinjuku. A bunch of us are going to meet up to fight them. Meet me at the bus terminal in Shinjuku Station's West Entrance Building District right now. Alright, so let's 
head towards that. And that's a fence that I keep walking into. That's good. This stream already going a lot smoother than yesterday's, to which I'm very happy. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Now, I wonder if those questions we were asked during the Smacktacular uh, affect alignment, because if they do, I haven't taken them into account. And that may skew things a little. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I have to accept the quest first. Yes, of course. Of course! Burrows. Burrows. People do not exist until the quest tells them they exist. There's nobody here. Hmm? hmm? That's strange. This is Shinjuku West, is it not? The bus terminal. Okay, this isn't the bus terminal, I suppose. Yes, this is the bus terminal here. The building I was entering was where the hunter who wanted photographs of Ike Bukuro was. Oh, it's you, Mr. Samurai. Thanks for coming. How's that camera I gave you? You take any good pictures? Lots, actually. Lots of side quests about taking pictures. Well, good. I'm glad you're taking a shine to it. Fighting for survival is nice and all, but it's good to have a cultural experience once in a while. True. After speaking with Nozomi for a while, it becomes apparent that nobody else is going to be joining you. Well, it looks like you're the only one who showed up, Mr. Samurai. I can never rely on any of the other hunters. It's a great association. For a favor, they all suck up to me and call me stuff like boss lady. Oh well, guess it's just the two of us again. The demons are running around the main street near the east gate like they run the place. I've got high hopes for you, Mr. Samurai. Nozomi has decided to accompany you. Zomi is the boss. It's all very Metal Gear Solid 3. Okay. And then we have to head back to the east part of Shinjuku, which feels like the place where all the side quests end up taking place, really. But well, it should be fine. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's save here, just in case. Unlikely anything is going to go wrong, but you never know. You just never know. There is the enemy. The zombie has been trapped within the demon's body. Way to go, boss lady. Um, I don't want to say yes, but I am going to set it on fire. It's okay, she doesn't get hurt. You've defeated the demons and rescued Nozomi. If I did an attack that did that hit multiple targets, I believe she would have been injured. Probably killed. Seeing as this is my new game plus stats. But. Again, boss lady, come on. Wait, they caught me again? I know. Why the hell does this keep happening? Why are you asking me? You're the best hunter, Nozomi. No wonder everyone wants to team up with you. Alright, saved her again. To be fair, it is clear that we are meant to be exceptionally gifted in terms of 
hunter proficiency. And that makes three times now for those keeping count. Even even Nozomi is finding this very odd. Alright. They got the first attack, but did not do much with it. There we go. And now you sense a sinister power nearby. You lay Nozomi's body down and prepare for a fight. Oh, this loser. Kernunos. Oh, whatever. You know, fertility in the harvest with a pile of dead people. Kernunos with his mohawk and his Celtic tribal tattoos just seems like such a doofus. Look, he's just kind of hanging out on this skull. What? Like, clean yourself up. Have some self-respect. Stop killing people. I think these are all simple requests to make. Get out of here. They did. You are still able to defeat me. You're one crazy human. That's me. You think I've given up though? I'll just resurrect more ancient gods like me. I'm going to restore this world to the ancient gods. Whatever, dude. Good luck with that, buddy. Nozomi awakens. Uh, was I out this whole time? You tell Nozomi what happened while she was passed out. I defeated eight of them. I see. So that demon was controlling all the wicker men to try to get his power back. And you were able to defeat him. Single handedly. No demons. Than I am. Looks like I really do owe you my life this time. Thanks, Mr. Samurai. Well, Here's your reward. You deserve it. If anything else comes up, I'll make sure to contact you. I mean, I make fun of her here, but I like Nozomi. She's a photographer, hunter, badass boss lady. You know, there's a lot in that combination of words to enjoy. Alright, <clears throat> that's all those quests done, so let's continue on, I guess, with the game itself. The game proper, as we might say. We can teleport to Shibuya. Actually, I should have stopped in at Ginza. And seeing if there were any side quests there, we're but here. what should we do, Master? I don't think there's any big rush. Okay. We can do that after we uh check in in Shibuya and continue the plot. I say that like we're definitely going to continue the plot, but if we go to the Hunter Association here and it's just like, here is 10 side quests, then whoops. What's your pleasure? Um, also, let me talk to the cynical man Hello. to 
to get a bearing on our alignment. Okay. If those options during the Smacktacular affected alignment, they did not affect it that much. That sounds good to me, Burroughs. Alright, let's eat this fake-ass Harajuku waffle. Thanks for the check, Burroughs. All right. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. Here's open we both see each other alive again. Here's open, buddy. Shibuya is kind of by far the biggest underground district in the game, which makes it kind of a mess to navigate sometimes, but I mean, somewhere had to be the biggest. If they were all the same size, that would be kind of boring. And you know, Shibuya is the place to make the biggest. It is kind of a big deal. Although, it looks nothing like how it looks in the other great Atlas RPG, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp Effie. Alright. Not gonna fight these. Okay, this is the building we need to go to. So let's save and head inside, because if I remember right, we're going to get thrown into a battle pretty much immediately. Midtown. A demon is meditating, as they do. Um. Oh, no, I'm wrong. We actually forgot to do something quite important first. We have to go to the Cafe Florida in Shinjuku. I am such a silly goat. That's on me, egg gang. I got ahead of myself. And I was even thinking going there... Huh. Nothing in the plot actually indicated I that I go to this building. I wonder how the game expected me to know. And it's because we didn't do the event in Shinjuku... ...that lets us know that that's the building to go to. So let's do that now. And also pick up this garbage. Because it might resell. This is the Shibuya terminal. Alright, back to Shinjuku. Activating transport mode. Demon City Shinjuku. Uh Late Aishi's OVA. We're here. What should we do, Master? Probably doesn't hold up, but probably has some nice 80s anime aesthetic. In this game, every city is Demon City. Except Mikado. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big time ambush. But we'll just... Punch our way through that. Okay. Cafe Florida, which is where Hikaru told us Walter was going, is here 
in the Kabuki Cho. So let's just do that. I think I just remembered doing all that stuff from the, our first run through, and that's why I forgot to do it now. But here we go. Come now, you must hear me out. I'll ask one question and then leave peaceably. Proof of membership. Are you deaf, man? I, I only need a moment of Fujiwara's time, please. Proof of membership. Whoa. Walter, so he did come here. Are you going to go to Walter's aid? Yes, because we have to. Um, the Katakana says Florida. Furorida. Flynn showed the matchbox to the Stoic Hunter. Truly? Sorry, sir. Please, come in. My Japanese has atrophy to near nothing, but I can tell you that much. Hi there. Hey, Hikaru. You're... Why the devil are you here? Are these the people you were talking about, Hikaru? They sure are. So, Medusa still being alive was one of the Ashurakai's lies after all. Whoa. We already know about most of your accomplishments. We're pretty awesome. You passed through Naruku, right? Did you hit up the terminal in there? Maybe. How do you know about that? You mean the place above the firmament, the eastern kingdom of Mikado, right? I know a little. You're not supposed you to know this. Young then, weren't we, Skins? <laughs> Thanks to those days, I'm better at stitching up wounds than your average sawbones. Pardon, but I didn't come here to make idle conversation. Skins played in English by the same 